Hi everyone, in this video we will walk through setting up a local environment for experimenting with semantic search using PostgreSQL. We will be using a combination of tools, PostgreSQL itself, the PGAI extension for handling vectorization, and Olama to provide the language model for generating embeddings. Everything runs locally via Docker Compose, so it's easy to get started. Once the environment is up and running, we'll demonstrate how to use SQL to perform semantic search over your data, from loading a data set into a table to querying it using a natural language. We will also show how this can be integrated into a web application, using a Django project as an example to support more intuitive search functionality. By the end, you will have a working setup and a better understanding of how semantic search fits into a Postgres-based workflow. Let's get started. Let's start by setting up our environment. We are using a Docker Compose file to orchestrate everything we need. Postgres SQL is a PGAI extension, a vectorizer worker, and Olama for handling embeddings. Here is the Docker Compose YAML file. The DB service runs PostgreSQL is timescaled DB and includes the PGAI extension. The vectorizer worker service handles embedding vectors, connecting to the database and communicating with Olama. Finally, the Olama service runs the Olama model server which will provide embeddings and reasoning capabilities. We also define a volume to persist the database data. With the configuration in place, let's start the services. Open your terminal and run. This command starts the containers in detached mode. Once everything is running, we need to pull the models that Olama will use. Let's run the following commands to pull the old mini LM model for embeddings and the tiny Llama model for reasoning. Once the models are downloaded, we need to enable the PGAI extension in PostgreSQL. We will use pgadmin4 to manage our database. After connecting to the database, execute the following SQL query to install the PGAI extension. This query enables the PGAI extension along with its dependencies preparing the database for semantic search. At this point, our environment is fully set up and ready to handle semantic search queries. In the next section, we will test this by working with the dataset from Hugging Face to see how it all comes together. Now that our environment is ready, let's test out semantic search in PostgreSQL using a dataset of Wikipedia articles. We will go step by step, starting with creating the necessary table. This creates a wiki table to store article data, including the ID, URL, title, and the article text. Next, we will load a dataset of Wikipedia articles from Hugging Face directly into this table. Here we are using the AI load dataset function to pull a Wikipedia dataset specifying the version and table name. It also allows us to control the batch size and how many batches to load. After this step, our table is populated with data. Now we create a vectorizer for our data. The vectorizer is a process that converts the text in our wiki table into numerical representations called embeddings. These embeddings capture the semantic meaning of the text, enabling us to perform semantic search. In this query, we specify the source table wiki and the destination wiki embeddings. We use the old mini LM model from Olama to generate dimensional embeddings. To handle long text efficiently, we use a chunking strategy that splits the text column into smaller pieces for embedding. Once the vectorizer is created, our vectorizer worker service picks up rows from the wiki table and starts processing them into embeddings. To monitor the progress, we can run this query. This view shows the status of the vectorization process, including how many rows are pending. Let's try a semantic search query. Here is the SQL command we will use. This query searches for the most relevant article related to the term light effects. The embedding AI Olama embed syntax calculates the similarity between the embeddings in the wiki embeddings view and the query embedding generated by the old mini LM model. The result we get is an article titled Albedo. Albedo refers to the proportion of light or radiation reflected by a surface, which is directly related to light effects. This demonstrates how semantic search goes beyond simple keyword matching 
identifying concepts and the relationships that match the meaning of your query. With this, we have successfully performed semantic search using PostgreSQL. By combining embeddings, chunking, and vectorization, we can find meaningful results from textual data. And since the vectorizer continuously watches for new rows in the wiki table, any additional data will automatically be processed, keeping the system ready for future searches. Next, let's see how to integrate this into a Django application to make semantic search more accessible in a web-based workflow. To make semantic search even more practical, let's integrate it into a Django application. I have prepared a simple Django app that connects to the same database we have been using. We will add it as another service in our Docker Compose setup, so everything runs together. The app includes a single custom Django app called Products. It defines a product model which looks like this. This model will store product names and descriptions, and we will use semantic search to query this data later. To prepare the database, we first apply migrations for the products app in the terminal. Let's run this. This command creates the necessary table for the product model in our database. Next, we will populate the database with product data. I have a CSV file containing sample products, and we will use a custom Django management command to load it. The command is defined like this. Let's load the products. This command reads the CSC file, creates entries for each product, and saves them to the database. At this point, our Chenko app is set up and ready to use the same database as before. In the next step, we will add a custom migration for the products app to set up a vectorizer for the product model. This will enable semantic search directly on product data. With our products app set up and populated with data, the next step is to enable semantic search for the product model. We will do this by adding a custom Django migration to set up vectorizer for the description column of the product's product table. This migration does a few things. It uses the AI create vectorizer function to set up a vectorizer for the description column in the product's product table. The vectorizer creates embeddings using the all mini LM model from Olama. It stores the embeddings in a new table called Products Product Embeddings. The chunking parameter ensures the long descriptions are split into manageable chunks for embedding. To apply this migration, run the following command. This command applies the migration and sets up the vectorizer in PostgreSQL. The vectorizer worker service will now pick up the rows in the product's product table and process them into embeddings. With the vectorizer in place, our product model is now ready for semantic search. In the next chapter, we'll use Pitchy Admin to perform semantic search queries on the product's table and explore how it all works. With our vectorizer set up and embeddings generated for the product's descriptions, let's test semantic search directly in PG Admin. For this demonstration, we'll search for products related to the term sport. Here's the query. And here's our result. Even though the word sport does not appear explicitly in the description, the system identifies a relevant product, a smartwatch designed for fitness activities. This highlights the power of semantic search. It goes beyond exact keyword matches to find results based on meaning and context. With this query, we have demonstrated how semantic search works in PostgreSQL, powered by PGAI, Vectorizer Worker, and embeddings generated by Olama. In the next chapter, we'll integrate this functionality into our Chenko application, creating a simple interface for users to search for products semantically. That's it! In this video, we have explored how to set up and use PostgreSQL for semantic search using PGAI and Olama. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more content on advanced database and AI integrations. And if you are interested in Chenko project development, don't forget to check out and their website in the description. See you in the next one.